Hello. Please confirm that everything is okay with picture and voice. <coughs> Which country are you from? Yes, I am planning to play in Reykjavik. Yes, that's right. So please confirm that everything is fine here with my stream. I mean, can you see me? Can you hear me? Are you happy? Good. So, today I will show you one famous game between Anatoly Lutikov and Mark Taimanov. So, Quincy, Quincy 7. <coughs> Another option here is a6, but uh, if white wants, they can take on c6 and play bishop b3, b5, castle. But if white uh, wants to play same plan with bishop e3, queen d2, black has e5 idea. d5 is also possible, but uh, less convincing because after bishop f d4, f3, b5, a3, queen a5, knight b3, Bishop takes c3, knight takes a5, bishop takes d2, bishop takes d2, d takes e4. This position is uh, very good for white. Black has extra pawn, but white has totally enough compensation, even more than enough compensation. It was my game. I was black against Wensley, so I made draw, but I was suffered. But e5, it was another my game against Wensley, so I, I made draw more comfortable. So b5 was, e takes d5, knight b4. Yes, knight g3. And now I took with uh, this knight uh, and... Uh, Uh, totally possible was to take in with another knight to prepare bishop e6. It's important that if a long castle, bishop b4 is possible. Queen takes d5, queen takes d5, uh, sorry, knight takes d5, knight takes d5. Not so strong here because black has queen a5. It's an important resource. And if bishop b6, queen takes a2. Knight takes b4, queen a1 check, king d2, king takes b2, and black is better here. <coughs> so, this is theory. So, e5 move uh, firstly was played by the great master from Lviv, Nazar Firma, against Alexander Zubov. Okay, but queen c7 was played in Lutikov Taimano game. Was bishop e3, a6. Now very popular line is queen f3 here, surprisingly. Many games. Okay, I will not give all of variation, but uh, I want to tell that bishop a3 idea doesn't work because uh, after castle, knight e5, queen g3, queen takes c3, b takes a3, queen takes a3, king b1, knight g6, knight b3, white is clearly better because bishop c5 is covered. So, for example, Anish Giri played uh, knight e5 and h5 in several games. Okay, it's another game. So bishop e2, okay, after bishop e2, black can go to Schellenindian system, of course, not just this. a4, 
Och Enas. Och Enas är possible plan för White att play this out A4, Queen E1 and Queen G6. Seven, King H1. Also, many games was played in this position. So Taimanov played uh, against Bronstein B5. Also possible Bishop D4, but he played too strange move. Firstly, he played F6. Much more natural here is Bishop B7 to prepare Rook C8 somehow. If, for example, castle, rook c8, or even queen c7, immediately it's possible to avoid bishop f3. But Taimanov played f6, strange move, and after castle, he played bishop c5, just mistake. And after bishop takes b5 and queen h5, he's just lost. Well, so after b5, uh, another very interesting line for white is to take on c6 and uh, to play f4. And if b4, bishop f3, e5, rook b1. This variation is better for white according to theory. So if bishop b7, bishop f3. Also, bishop a3 is very sharp line, but uh, knight takes b5. Position is very complicated, but uh, according to theory, white is slightly better. Also, knight takes b5 is the strongest move. Uh, bishop d4 also was played, but bishop d4 is not so strong because bishop takes b2, knight takes b5, a takes b5, bishop takes b2, queen takes e4 is possible. The white cannot take on g7 because queen takes g2. This is a complicated game, approximately equal. Well, e4, c5, bishop e2, yes. It's totally playable, nothing special, but uh, I know that Igor Kovalenko was inventor of uh, this move. Uh, and also, he liked it to play uh, more or less same with black. Uh, I mean, uh, after c4, e5, uh, g3, e6, uh, bishop g7, If e4, c5, bishop e2, he is trying to play more or less the same with extra tempo. It's totally playable. White is not pretending for opponent advantage, probably, but it's quite interesting game. But okay, so we we can see bishop d played beautiful. Uh, queen d2 is very popular line, of course, after queen d2, knight f6. So bishop f4, f3, and now black has three moves. So knight e5 is possible, knight e7 is possible, and knight a5 is possible. Vichy Anand played knight a5 in many games. I played knight e7 against Magnus Carlos. Knight e5 is the most popular move after knight b5, knight b3. So knight move for that. Well, so. Bishop d3 played Lutico, and we will consider this move. Now b5, knight f6, another line, of course, after castle. Now b5 is possible. I played this against the Turkish Grandmaster uh, Mohamed Dashtan. And now knight takes c6, queen takes c6, a3, bishop b7, rook e1 is main theory, many games was played. So b5, 
Knight takes c6, queen takes c6. After castle, more or less same possible. Queen e2 is not necessary. Rook e1. You prepare knight d5 probably in some variation. And again, knight f6, a3. We have same position. I recommend to see game uh, between uh, Bartolome Maché and Vichy Anand in this variation. To everybody who are interested in this, with this line. Of course, draw, but uh, white has slightly better position. Well, so bishop d4. I'm not sure that bishop d4 is the best because uh, if black uh, will play bishop c5, uh, the white should do something. If take on c5, it's a losing of tempi. But okay, at the moment. Bishop c5 is not possible, so bishop b7, queen e2. Now black has choice, Taimanov played knight e7, knight f6 uh, also was, uh, was totally possible. Bishop f6, black can take. Knight d5 immediately, it's hardly strong, black can just castle, and after this bishop g7, very good position, so if uh, not immediately, not knight d5, black can play castle long, uh, for example, after this, long castle is possible, although this is sharp game, I can try to play a4, b4, knight a2, and then c3, but f5 is coming, so it's uh, double edge situation, but uh, I don't think that... Uh, black uh, is wolves here so probably more precise for white after knight f6 just play castle only after b4 to take on f6 or to at least to prolong b4 but even here i'm not sure is it is this uh, f5 is possible it's complicated position if knight f6 check king e7 simply is Black is ready for long castles. Uh, okay, but maybe white can try something like c3. Maybe I utilize c line for, for attack. Uh, I don't know how strong it is. Oh, for example, and also knight takes before is possible. If uh, long castle, knight takes before. If f takes, bishop takes. So Black cannot castle long because knight e7 checks. Oh, of course, after castle, black can play something else like bishop c5, for example. Ah, but now, ah, now bishop c5 is possible. It's important that the pawn is on a2 because uh, if uh, imagine that pawn on a3, e5, looks like very nice for white because knight has no good square if knight d5 knight e4 but now b4 is possible utilize that the white pawn not on uh, a3 and the black has uh, a resolvable counterplay okay this position we can continue analyze on this this probably how to play white has choice even before is possible because queen takes before root b1 so before queen g5 bishop e4 is uh, one of the options but here no, no maybe what black should play yeah maybe just take and play d5 and Oh, yes, this, this, and then castle, rook c8, rook c4, it's a complicated position, what else white can do, if not b4, fg7, and, and now bishop e4 probably. But now looks like black is totally okay after queen e5. It's 
important resource. For example, rook e1 takes, 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 e1. Rook takes g7, rook g5. So it's important idea. Maybe queen e5, uh, where queen e5? We are considered queen e5. So if this g takes f6 complicated position, it's after uh, after b4 queen no queen e5 now it's not possible yet. Yes, yes queen g5 we are considered, but ah now queen e5 ah uh, now it's possible, but uh, the question how strong it is. Uh, I will just take rook g8 and rook e1. Now black has some problem with c3 pawn. Oh, I mean, for example, takes, 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 rook takes, rook c4 is coming. This is not so pleasant for black. So because of this uh, queen e5, I didn't consider like the best move. So I like just take on e4 and then d5. Or maybe without d5, so also possible, probably castle. And now even rook fc8 is possible to consider, but it's double edged because f4, f5 is coming. Queen d5 after b4. Ah, queen d5, ah, queen d5, yes, queen d5. You are right, queen d5 is very strong. So before it's just mistake, thank you. So I miss it, queen d5. Yes, queen d5 is strong, you are right. So this also. Oh, f3, uh, f3, just black can just take because bishop e4, queen d4 check is possible. Black is ready for queen e5 or queen d4 check. Okay, maybe white has some compensation after rook a d1. Also, because uh, black has some problem with his king. If, for example, queen e5, queen f2. Or if uh, queen d4 check, king h1, black cannot take on b4 because rook b1 is coming. So. Okay, so knight f6 was totally possible and also this position quite complicated. But I don't think that black is worse here. For example, if knight d5 there is idea long castle with knight f6, bishop d4. Looks like good for black. After knight h5, even f5 is possible to consider. Also, still sharp, probably. f5, c3 is coming. Something like this. No, maybe not so bad for white. It's still tricky. Okay, after knight h5, also bishop takes b2. B1, bishop c3, and for white not so easy to organize attack while uh, black has contraplay with f5. Okay, but Taimanov played knight e7, so he liked to play knight e7 in uh, many positions. Uh, for example, he liked uh, this line to play with black a6 if uh, g3, knight g7 idea to take on d4 and play knight c6. According to theory, knight b3 is the strongest move. And black, if knight a5, queen h5 is strong. Idea to prepare this. So for black is d6 is possible and bishop d7 and knight c8 is possible also. 
Mark Reimal played this plan. Plan also later Oleg Romanisha played this plan with black. Okay, let's come back to the game. So knight e7. It's quite difficult move for Taiman strategy in this variation. F4. Not necessary, but very concrete try by Lutikov. So his choice after short castle black can consider even knight f5 also i'm not sure is it really strong or not no music not so often but okay maybe maybe simply knight g6 is possible to prepare knight f4 if f4 bishop c5 Playable position, yeah, so who knows? Probably white is slightly better after this. This this castle a4 seems to be easy. Knight f5, okay, bishop e5, and uh, unclear situation. What black should play? Maybe bishop d6, for example, is possible. Bishop takes d6, knight takes d6. <clears throat> but now there is question about knight d5, for example, is it strong or not? Don't know. For example, f5 can be considered like option for black. So it's counter play. Okay, so it's not necessary for white to play. Knight d5 immediately, totally possible to play something like rook bd1, castle to play a3, and then to prepare rook d2, rook d1, try to organize some pressure in the d line. Although black has counterplay after f5, but the uh, question how strong it is, white can simply play a3. If we exchange everything, slightly better for white. This pair d7 e6 is weak in that game. Okay, probably it's drawish, but more pleasant to play with white. Okay, but Lutikov play f4, aggressive move. b4 immediately. It's possible, not necessary, of course. Black has choice. For example, queen c7 was possible. Totally normal move to prepare knight c6. Try to, or to show that bishop on d4 is not an optimal position. Okay, but white can try bishop queen f2 if knight c6, bishop d6 was knighted. Bishop e5 less convincing with this tactical idea. This, but, um, but after bishop e5, queen b6 is simply possible and knight c6 is coming, so queen f2 is strong. In my opinion, and to change bishop, um, okay. Uh, Black wants to develop uh, his bishop somehow from f8, and uh, Black wants to to solve somehow problem with his king because uh, to be always in the center is dangerous for for black king so uh, go to one castle also not so safe because a6 b5 was played already so so this is logical strategy to exchange bishops and Prepare one castle. Only after queen c7, queen f2, probably more precise to play rook c8. Then knight c6, and after bishop b6, queen b8. But okay. It's... Oh, so interesting position, something like this. But white has some initiative, for example, e5 and knight e4 is coming. 
What might B4 do? It has some control F5, probably immediately. In the bottom right, evaluation. Okay, ah, uh, evaluation. Yes, there is evaluation. Okay, but uh, before immediately played my Mark Taimano, it's logical he is attacking, right? All, although totally possible was to play rook c8. Just just wait what white will do. Where will go white king? If, for example, uh, short castle, black can try knight g6 to prepare bishop c5 if king h1. This idea bishop c5, bishop g7, f6 is possible, and again black is preparing for bishop c5. It's totally possible. If f5, knight e5, it's a complicated game. Probably white is better, however. For example, this, 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 because black still has problem with his king, something like this can be unpleasant. So Mark Taimanov decided to play b4 immediately and uh, white has choice where knight to go. So knight d1, knight f2, f6 uh, instead of takes uh, on e6. Also possible. But I'm not sure is it uh, stronger because um, takes, takes, king d8, king c7, king d8 is coming. So after f takes e6, knight has excellent square d5 now. Future of white knight is not so clear, but, but, but okay, white has initiative, I agree. So rook f1, probably bishop c5, it's double edge position. Queen h5, probably. If bishop d4, knight d5, it can be dangerous. So f6 is also possible, but uh, f takes e6 is uh, good enough. So if queen c5, b4 is coming. Notice this. Okay, so before he played, uh, now white has choice where knight to go. So knight b1, knight d2 is possible. Another possible maneuver is knight uh, d1, knight f2. Ones. So commentators not demonstrate any variations, so everything is clear or nothing is clear. So for example, how to play with black here, you can think. I'm thinking, for me it's not obvious how, what is the best way for black. Queen c7, normal move, but again white has uh, idea queen f2 if knight c6, bishop b6. This is quite standard idea. But okay, uh, uh, now after queen f2, probably f5 is possible because uh, White has problems that uh, two their pieces, uh, queen and knight, pretending for good square f2. And, and uh, black is trying to fight for the center of the moon. But okay, uh, how strong it is, maybe not so strong. Knight e3 and long castle and rook h1. Well, okay, black has contraplay, but. No, rook e1, king f7, something like this. And th this variation is uh, not forced. Uh, so I can play with short castle, of course. So, or black can play after queen f2 simply. Rook c8. 
to prepare square b8 for his queen. And so, okay, knight d1 was possible, but Lutico played uh, knight b1, so he wants to have knight on d2 instead of f2, also a reasonable choice. Of course, after knight d1, maybe even queen d6 is possible, but queen d6, bishop e3, and uh, I'm not sure that queen has a uh, good future on d6. Bishop e5 less convincing because queen b6 and knight c6 or, or knight g6 is coming. So knight b1. Knight g6. Well, again, queen c7 looks like logical and standard uh, alternative. And probably the best for white is queen f2. But knight g6. So he wants to, to do something more concrete now. White played queen f2. Not obvious move, maybe g3 was possible because if f5, knight d2, nothing bad for white. After bishop c5, white can just take and play knight d2. Also, bishop takes g7 may be possible. So g8, bishop f6, and knight d2 is coming. So. But now e5. Necessary to check uh, how strong it is. It's another question. It's like this. Maybe even this is possible. But doesn't look like it is. <coughs> so, rook b1 is correct. Bishop e5 takes, takes, bishop. Okay, this is sharp line, so more quiet line takes and knight d2, and uh, white has more pleasant position because knight on g6 is a little bit strange, so white has clear plan, long castle, h4, h5 is coming. So. Somewhere also white can play in the centrum, rook h1, e5. e5. Or even uh, rook h e1, queen e3 go to end game. So, okay, bishop g7 is more complicated. So now it's a sharp line. Okay, may maybe good for white, but I don't know. It's much more complicated. Castle, knight takes e5, for example, knight c4, probably. Or bishop takes e3, something like this. But, uh, this position is not so easy to evaluate. Okay, but he played queen f2, so g3 I like this move. But okay, maybe after g3, however, black can try e5, this trick. And only after takes, uh, now bishop c5. So probably this is stronger option for black. And yes, tactics training, yes. Although black has reasonable counterplay, because if c3, bishop takes d4, queen c1 check, and queen takes b2. So e5 looks like a stronger option than bishop c5. Okay, I will come back in a few minutes. Please wait me.
call from Magnus. Okay, so e5 looks like playable for black. For example, if bishop e3, black has takes, takes, and queen f6 with double attack. So queen f2 played beautiful. Now e5 is possible as well, but not so clear. I mean this variation. So this, this, and now black can try again. Queen c7 or queen e6 even. But after queen e6, okay, queen e6 is possible. Queen g3, d6 is possible. This compensation. If uh, castle, my idea was just take and he takes, he takes. If this is idea, bishop c5 with f8. I'm not sure it's so good, but also bishop d6 is possible. Bishop d6, knight f3, however. But okay, so or queen c7. Okay, but okay, it's queen c7 or queen e6 is not bishop c5. So now we understand the idea of queen of at least. They might have played bishop d6. So he he's trying to play concrete style. Knight on b1, queen c1. So black has some advantage of development. And Lutikov came back to e3 with bishop. He needs to defend his pawn on f4 somehow. Takes on g7, it doesn't work. This variation. E5, okay, E5 uh, is possible, but after E5, white has problem with G2 pawn, so bishop can simply go somewhere, and what to do? Knight H4 is coming, so rook G1 probably is the best, but knight H4 is coming, and rook G1, knight H4, and it's unpleasant for white. So bishop e3, defense, castle, time out. I don't know if he has something better here. At least he has choice, so to, to, totally possible was, for example, to play f5. If knight d2, to take bishop takes queen c7, to play this position. Try to prepare castle short as soon as possible and attack f4 pawn. So black has uh, advantage of development, so I would expect uh, very concrete play for black to realize it. So f5 is logical. From this point of view, or also e5 is logic. e5, if maybe g3 somewhere, f5 is possible. Okay, it's not so obvious. I can try g3, but uh, f5 might d2, something like this. So what is this? Black can try, for example, this, 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 take on e4. If knight takes, bishop takes f4. If bishop takes queen c7 or queen b5, this idea to attack f4 pawn as soon as possible. c4, where c4? Before castling. Here, c4, not c4. C4, B takes C3, simply.
Ah, before knight b2. Okay. Here c4 takes no c4 is not an option. So this was very logical, uh, by the way. So, well, black can start with castle. You know, same ideas. Queens, queens, queens. Looks like good for black because uh, their pieces are prepared uh, better for opening the position. But Taimano started to play slow, you see. Well, knight b2, bishop c4 and bishop b3. In which moment bishop c4 and bishop b3? Here. Okay, knight d2 he played, rook a c8 he played Taimano. Okay, as I explained, it was possible to play again e5 and if g3 f5. If f5, knight f4. This is kind of a reasonable counter play. But Taimano started to play very slowly, don't know why. Now, Lutikov played h4, more natural looks long castle, I don't know why he played h4. Okay, he wanted to, to play h5 as soon as possible, but uh, more natural is castle to prepare uh, for opening the position. And again, if, now if g3, f5. Uh, now if e5 g3 is possible and uh, now f5 white can take because rook is already protected. So, so I like uh, long castle here and now probably white is uh, even better. If f5 also simply g3 is possible and uh, black has to think about future of his knight uh, on g6 also okay maybe there is some tactics like this and queen a4 if you idea to take and b3 so, so such motive is possible But well, after f5, now white can play e5 also. Ah, but e5, bishop c5. Not so easy to defend uh, all of pawns. g2, f4. Ah, but uh, just rook g1. Good move. And uh, white is planning to play knight c4, knight b6. Uh, while. Black attack is stopped somehow. Okay, anyway, we can consider this, this queen a4, b3, queen takes a4, but... but how good it is. Okay, black has counterplay for sure. So such uh, motives are important. X takes queen a4. Oh, but maybe now bishop c4 is uh, bishop c4, bishop d5. White is suffering from weakness on c2. This end game may be not so bad for, for black. If white needs to go to end game, of course, maybe white has also queen b6. Not okay, bishop c6. If knight c4 important, that knight takes e5 is coming. And uh, rook f1 not winning the piece because knight takes c4. King b6, queen on b6 is handled. So castle probably f5 is good plan too.
wholesome life, basically, for this person. But in that case, bishop e7, and black is prepared to play d5, knight d2, e5, so black has a reasonable counterplay. So, how to play? Also possible, just take. The black should take, no choice. And White has better pawn structure, they are planning to play g3. Ah, maybe even g3 immediately, because queen takes h1. Uh, Ah, the g3, queen, a4, however. Black is winning exchange. But what is bishop c4 check now? Something like this. Big question, who is better here? Black has uh, pawn up, but uh, uh, pieces are coordinated better for white. For example, bishop d4 is possible. So double edge situation. White has compensation for the pawn also. Positional threat can be b3 and bishop b2. Okay, but this is quite complicated. Lutikov played h4. So he wants something else. Again, uh, Taimanov could play f5 in here. After h5, knight e7. Okay, after h5, uh, maybe knight takes f4 also possible. If it works, I'm not sure if it works or not. Knight takes f4. I want to take knight, so it's was my idea. So my idea is if bishop takes b7, queen takes b7, and g3 not possible at the moment. So if rook h4, e5 is coming. to take the piece back. But okay, white can take. This is more precise. Now h5. Bishop c4 is possible. If king h8, h6 is coming. So it's black has some tactical problems here. Queen c7 played Taimano. Also, probably. E5, however, it's possible. Ah, but uh, they are considering also E5. Okay, E5 is also possible, G3. But F5 looks like a more concrete try, so H4, Queen C7. <coughs> what about E5? So g3, maybe now black can try to realize this idea in f5. And now knight takes f4 and plays queen b5. This looks like promising for black. Uh, of course, necessary to check rook h4, but 
Well, like has something good, like for example, like this. So like has many handling pieces. Also, castle maybe bishop d6 is hanging too. Okay, maybe black can take, take, sorry. Ah, maybe even, okay, I mean this, 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 rook f8 and queen f1, queen takes a1 is coming. Looks like pretty unpleasant for white. Probably black has something else. So e5 was option. If f5, knight f4, looks like... Uh, Good thing. No, no. Ah, probably yes. No, no, probably yes. Taiman went too slow. It wasn't concert. Okay, it was like Furchet closing ceremony of one of tournament. So Taimanov played on piano and Smyslov was singing. So E5 was totally possible. And, uh, looks like prin very principal move. Try to open position as soon as possible. But Taimanov played Queen C7. E5 played Ludico. Okay, G3 was totally possible. And if F5 won castle. So. Bishop c5, h5. So this continuous attack. Knight c4. Knight d6 is prepared. So Taiwan of played. Knight f5. Now if bishop takes black has choice. It's possible to take the knight, possible to take the bishop. They are considered he takes five main line. Probably they are right. If B3, probably Bishop D5. Oh, so Bishop D5, Knight B6. So probably B3 is stronger here. I'm not sure that black is good here. So maybe queen takes c4 is the best actually. If bishop d3 and just play queen c5, it's approximately equal endgame. Okay, so bishop f5 was possible, but Lutikov played queen d2. Taimanov played bishop d5. In each move, uh, black has choice. For example, bishop e4 was quite interesting track. Why not exchange such a strong bishop? Bishop takes e4, queen takes c4, looks like totally acceptable for black, but okay, probably nothing wrong for white as well. They are preparing for non castle. If this promising endgame for white, Or even queen takes b4 is maybe possible if queen takes g2 long castle maybe not because not necessary coming. Also even here queen d2 so it's very far from clear. So 
Bishop d5 played Taiman, Bishop e4 was alternative, probably there are some other alternatives. Like rook fd8, for example, to prepare d5. But now uh, long castle. Ah, long castle d5. And uh, it is this. And bishop h7 doesn't work because uh, c2 pawn is hanging, but uh, probably after d5, knight e3 is possible. Knight takes this three, queen takes this three, b4, queen g3, bishop. h6, for example. If rook h4, king h8, rook g4, rook g8, something like this. Okay, so what else is possible? So knight f5, he played. So queen d2. G4 and knight G D6. Where G4? In which moment? In which moment G4? Okay, so bishop d5 was played. Knight e3. Takes, takes, queen c. End game, black has totally resolvable contraplay because g2 is hanging, f6 plan is possible, so white can play with queens as well and Ludico decide to play queen g3, queen d2 is reasonable alternative, of course. h6, normal choice to stop h6. And now rook h4 and now critical moment in the game. So black could simply play king h8 and after rook g4, rook g8. White attack is stopped and black has excellent contraplay. Okay, it's nice to see you. This, this, for example, of castle. Even bishop takes a2 can be considered. So probably objectively black is even better here. Uh, piece, black pieces are better coordinated. But he played queen g1 check. Well, after king d2, now to take this rook g4 is coming and it looks like mate. So he played queen d4, f5. So this tactic. But okay, so positionally Taimano outplayed his opponent. And King h8 was in spirit of position, but okay. Queen g1 is romantic way and Taimano chose it. But probably it was objectively bad. F5. So rook g4 immediately. He has bishop e4. This important advantage. Important defense. So rook g8 is coming and bishop takes d3. But f5. And now f6 is coming. Now black king in big dangers, but Taimano played with this d3. And it works in practical games sometimes. In this game, 
it was su success for Taimur, but the objective lead it was losing quite good will here see if they can make it bigger. Still, big problem for Black with uh, his king, while all white pieces are in Otaks. Six. Queen G5 always rook G4. So white was winning. So probably it means that Queen G1 was a mistake. Okay, queen takes g2 was possible, but uh, it's also unpleasant for black because rook g1 and then rook g4 is coming. Okay, probably black not losing by force, but maybe losing even by force. So looks bad for opening repertoire. What you mean open open in repertoire? I don't understand your question unfortunately what you mean. So of the queen d4 f5 okay so so queen g1 objectively it uh, was big mistake but uh, because of queen g1 this uh, game became so romantic. King h8 was very strong and black has better position. Dead draw? Where is, but where is draw? Probably according to computer. Dead draw. But in the game was objectively okay. So engine, but okay. So what is proposition of engine? Well, can you sh tell me? So how engine proposed to make draw for black in this position? I'm thinking about rook takes c2 immediately. Bishop takes c2, queen d4. This? So, is it draw? Maybe. Queen d3, queen f2 check. But what? King d1? What do you mean? This draw. Yes, King D1, Queen G1. Okay, so Rook takes C2. Immediately was probably correct. Good.
Yes, so black has such a way for draw, but uh, okay, but here it's uh, black is better in my opinion. So anyway, queen g1 was dubious and now queen d4 already mistake, right? B3 check, why B3? What is problem with rook c8 check? I try to understand. Ah, now king d1. Mm -hmm. So b3 idea was uh, to have check, so... Ah, a, ah, a b bishop takes b3. Uh -huh. Ah, because now if rook c8, white has king b1. And, uh, king goes to a2 and this idea is probably not enough because white uh, always can play rook b4 somewhere. Probably still black has some practical chances, but... But okay, it should be losing, of course, f6. Ah, f6, queen d1, check. Black has many checks. Rook c4, instead of f6, rook c4, yes, rook c4 makes so much. But rook b8 check, if rook b4, queen d1 check. Looks like draw. So problem. Okay, but uh, if rook c8 immediately, queen d1. Ah, uh, why queen... Uh, Aha, king a2, aha, uh, yes, yes, you are right, king a2, yeah, yeah, yes. So f6, uh, ah, yes, so it's no problem. It's, you are totally right. If rook b8, rook b4, white should win this. So now king d1, but uh, what is this if check? Why it is bad? So, so now move rook c8. So king d1 only move because uh, king b1 is losing. It's just made. So if king d2, I will take with checks. So king d1 is only move. And now if queen takes b2, rook b1. So queen g1 check. So queen e1, okay, king e2 I will take and then take will check, so at least I will not lost the game, I hope. So queen e1, but queen takes g2, what is this? Black is rook down, but there are several threats, so bishop f3 is unpleasant threat. And queen takes b2 also, so... So what is this? How many pawns? So white has uh, five pawns, black has seven pawns. So for example, after rook f4, bishop f3, uh, rook takes f3, queen takes f3, black has already two pawns more. Probably they will take third pawn and, and they at least not goals here.
Bishop E2, where Bishop E2? Here Bishop E2. Maybe Bishop E2. But now I can take here probably. And if rook takes b4, queen d5 check. If queen d2, queen h1 check and perpetual. Uh, rook f4, bishop f. Ah, now bishop e2. No, it's possible. Bishop takes h5, however, but black is a rook down. Pawns probably not so important in this position. Also, after rook f4, black can cons uh, rook queen b2, rook b1, queen a2, uh, rook b4. So this is bad for black. Come on. Okay, but he played b3 and uh, would be mistake that he played king d1 instead of winning the rook takes f3. Okay, rook takes f3, we, we are considering queen takes f3. And now probably king d2. Ah, bishop e2 there is proposed, and now queen h1 is proposition. What was this? Very creative move in style of ready, but okay, bishop b3, king e1, because king d2, rook c2, queen g3 check, king f1, but, uh, black can take on e5, they have many pawns. So, f5 and b2 is hanging, so black has at least practical chances. Objectively also white is winning, but not so clear. For example, there is bishop e5, king h4, king takes f5, so king e1, so still some fight. Rook c2, for example. Rook c2. Yeah, so something like this. But okay, so here it was winning way. Uh, A takes b3 and king d2. Of course, it wasn't so easy to calculate all of this during the game, but it was winning. But Lutikov played King D1. Bad move. And King G1. Queen takes G2. Now Black has attack. But again, not so easy to play for Black. So after Rook F4, Rook C8 is recommended, but. I don't know how strong this position for black. White can play queen f2 or queen e2. But at least and probably something like draw by perpetual of moves. He played queen f1, bishop f3 check. So many pawns. But 
Interesting. Black still have seven pawns on the board. White has only two, so black has five pawns against rook. One pawn on a2 in his bishop g2 study like move. Very nice. And another nice move, bishop e5. And takes h5. Game was enjoyed, but white resigned. Black has too many pawns. And possibility to attack against white king. Okay, maybe it was possible to play it. Some move more, but they had analyze what a move bishop g2. Yes, bishop g2, nice move. I agree. So after queen a4, probably queen d5. So it should be winning for black. That's right. So this was such a nice game. Many interesting moments but uh, for, for opening theory okay bishop d4 is uh, as i know it's uh, not a main move according to modern theory so usually instead of bishop b4 white is is playing castle and a3 we look you want something like this. And only now if rook c8, bishop d4 is possible. Because black has no possibility of long castle anymore. And bishop c5 at the moment is bad because takes, takes, e5 is cut. So here bishop e7 may move something like this. Or bishop d6. Ah, bishop d6 it was much here anon. So bishop d4, e5, bishop e3, bishop c5, queen f3, something like this. I remember. Anand made draw, but uh, white was better. So probably after rook e1, bishop e7 is the best. A simple move. Idea just prepare castle. After, for example, if uh, Harry with d6, white has idea queen e2. Knight takes d5 is threat. If knight d7, probably knight d5 is even possible. I'm not sure. Maybe now he takes d5 simply. And queen takes d5 and white has nothing. And because knight e5 is coming. But okay, so d6. Also, this idea may be possible. But question how strong uh, white threats after simple bishop e7. Knight d4, queen c7. Okay, maybe d6 is also possible, but usually black is not hurry with d6, so bishop e7 looks like more logical. Instead of rook, is a rook c8, bishop d4, I don't like. Because now bishop f6 at knight d5 can be threat if d6. Black has no long castle anymore and 
contraplay with f5 doesn't work because knight b4 even is possible and then he takes f5. I hope also maybe black has contraplay because knight needs to go to a2 or white need to give the piece for attack. I don't know, but looks uh, dangerous. So bishop e7 is main move. Don't remember what's recommendation of theory. Ah, also was possible queen e2 here. After queen e2, d6 never possible because knight takes b5. This is trick is important. And knight takes e4 doesn't help because check and f3 is cut now it's big so queen e2 i remember bishop e7 ah it was my game against dashtan so he played f4 castle e5 knight d5 this this c4 this this queen c6 so i played this and game ended with draw yeah, if rook a c1, I have bishop c5. So, but rook e1, knight f6, a3, simply bishop e7. Okay, white can play this. Probably rook e3, something like this. Question how strong it is d6, rook g3, g6. If queen f3, knight d7, and then knight e5 is coming, something like this. But okay, we can consider queen f4. I don't know, maybe it's just a rubbish, but this is my idea. Rook h3, and if knight f6, knight d5. Knight f6 is only move, and knight d5, and white is winning. Okay, maybe black can defend better. For example, open here it is possible. So queen h6 and queen takes h7 is not made because bishop h6. If rook h3, bishop f8. But okay, white has attacking chances. It's like this, bishop e2. It's possible to consider this position. So, bishop e4, castle. Okay, castle, black can wait with castle. So, d6 is possible. So, castle is not forced. Ah, but if d6, now a4 is important idea. And after b4, knight a2, pawn is hanging, so queen takes a4, queen takes a4, b3, it's possible. If queen a5, knight takes b4 and c3, the queen is trapped. a5 not possible because bishop b5, so if d6 uh, you play, you always need to follow this diagonal a4 e8 h4 instead of queen f3 ah here h4 mm, also possible But maybe this is a, okay. Black can try to play d6 after rook g3, king h8 was. But okay, queen, queen d2, queen d2 maybe. f4, e5 is my idea. 
quite cannot take twice because queen c5 check. Okay, check, queen d2, okay, so something like this. Okay, so I think for today is enough. Slava Ukraini. Good night. I hope you are enjoying it. If uh, there are some questions, okay, I can answer. Goodbye.